Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Now this week's video is going to be a little bit different because I'll be showing you what I get up to on a marine biology field week. I'm going to try and film everything I possibly can so I can show it off to you guys. I'm going on a couple of boat trips which will be really cool and I'm also going to be in the lab identifying some creatures which is also going to be great. It's going to be a really fun week and I hope I can show it all off to you guys. I do hope you enjoy this video especially if you aspire to study marine biology or you just are curious as to what we get up to sometimes. So yeah if you do enjoy the video please do leave a like down below and remember to subscribe so you don't miss a future video from me. So with all that out of the way let's just get into field week. Okay, good morning. It is Monday the 21st of March. Uh, it is the first day of field week and it's about 10 in the morning. I'm just about to head out and go to the train to get to Plymouth to head to the Marine Station as at around midday-ish. The first boat with um, some of the samples that we're collecting is coming in. So we'll be able to look through the samples, see what we can find. It's gonna be really good. We get to use the microscopes. So we'll be able to look at the creatures up close. So hopefully we find some cool things. I'm gonna head down to the train station now and I will see you in Plymouth. Every day of uni starts the same for me. I have an hour long train journey from Dawlish to Plymouth. To some people, that may seem like an awful way to start your day but I find it quite relaxing, especially when the train line is right next to the sea and an estuary. Once I'm off the train, it's a further 20 minute walk through the harbour to get to the university's marine station. Me and a friend were given a sample from an earlier boat trip that used a Van Veen grab to collect the samples, and our task was to identify all of the creatures within the sample, so the species and abundance could be logged into a spreadsheet that will be used later in the week. Here you can see we have somewhat separated the creatures, which made the identification process a lot easier. Now it's time to take a look at some of the creatures under the microscope. This is a great way of identifying any unknown creatures you find, seeing as you'll be able to zoom in incredibly close to identify features and characteristics of a certain species. These next few clips aren't actually from this lab session, but from various other practical sessions I've had this year, outlining that as marine biology students, you'll be using the microscopes fairly frequently throughout your degree. After looking at a few more individuals under the microscope, we had correctly identified all of our specimens. Okay, day one done. I have just got back. Uh, that was overall a good day. Well, good afternoon. I got there about half 11, uh, got the marine station for 12, and then just looked at some creatures for a couple of hours. I, I 
correctly identifying them and logging them into a spreadsheet that we have to um, fill in so that we can use that later on in the week. Overall, a good day. Um, great to be back in the lab after quite a long period of just not being in the lab. Um, tomorrow though, I'm really looking forward to, we're going out on one of the university's boats, uh, basically doing what other people did today. We are, we are the ones collecting the samples tomorrow out on the boat, so yeah, it should be a really good day. And uh, the next part of this video you should see, we should be out on the water, so really looking forward to it, and I hope you enjoy it. So here we are out on the water, on one of the university's vessels named Wave Dancer. We were collecting samples from exposed and sheltered areas in Plymouth Sound using the Van Veen Grab I mentioned earlier in the video. Me and a friend were tasked with collecting a sample using the Grab, which we'll see in the following clip. Once the sample was collected from the grab, we had to remove all of the mud using a sieve and a hose so we are able to see all the creatures that were living in the sediment. The creatures we found were similar to the ones I found on the previous day, but we bagged them up and sent them back to the marine station. The second sampling technique we observed was the box core. This metal box is lowered into the sea and collects a box shaped sample of the sediment and this is a great way to see what creatures are living in different layers of the sediment. Okay, day three, we have made it to Wednesday and today I'm actually not going into the uh, marine station because I believe there's already a few people there looking through the last few samples. So I think that's as good as done. But uh, in the morning, I'll be heading down to the harbor where a few of my friends are already down there fishing. Uh, I'm just gonna chill with them for a couple of hours. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to be meeting up with a few more friends and we're going to the beach to finish off some coursework where we have to make a short five minute video. Um, I think I've uh, mentioned that on the channel before in maybe a previous video, but um, from what I've heard, I don't think I will be able to feature the finished product on my channel, which is uh, really unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get the train now and I will see you in Plymouth. So day three begins in the harbour, where I met up with some friends who were fishing. After meeting up with a few other friends, we decided to head to the beach and film a video about environmental gradients. This was also a good excuse to have a quick search through some rock pools. Okay, it is now Thursday and this morning I'm heading into the marine station because now we've logged all of our data into the spreadsheet from the, uh, the sampling, we can now start to use some statistical tests to do some stuff with the data, make some graphs, that sort of thing. Now, if you know me, I really do not like our studio, so I'm definitely going to have to go in for that and try and wrap my head around it, uh, maybe get some help if I need it. So, um, shouldn't be too bad i'm hoping it's not too bad but in the afternoon i'm going out on the boat again and this time i think uh we are going to be given the opportunity to drive an underwater rov which is going to be really really cool um i'm hoping i can get some really good footage of that if i possibly can but uh, yeah it's going to be a good day the weather is lovely today so i'm going to get the train now and i will see you in plymouth Day 4 began back in the harbour, and the weather was absolutely beautiful. Once I arrived at the marine station, I started to look at the data we had collected from the Van Veen grabs, seeing as we expected to run statistical tests in our studio for a piece of upcoming coursework. I also used this time to run some tests for a separate piece of coursework. In the afternoon, we set out on Wave Dancer once again, this time heading for Corsand Bay. During this session on the boat, we were given the opportunity to operate an underwater ROV. This piece of equipment allows us to explore underwater environments and allowing us to identify any sea creatures we find, being able to record and photograph our finds for later use. The water clarity on this particular day was fair, so we are at least able to see everything beneath the surface. Eventually, it was my turn to operate the ROV, and you can see that I am really concentrating while operating it, as the controls were incredibly sensitive, but luckily, I didn't crash. Okay, the final day of field week, day five. Uh, today I don't actually have to go into the marine station, which is pretty lucky. Um, I'm just going to be sort of um, 
figuring out some R Studio stuff here on my laptop at home. So yeah, just really a bit of a chilled out day, just doing some stats. Um, yeah, nothing really else to do. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, a couple hours later and I am done for the day. I have had enough of our studio. Um, in fairness, it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be and it's not as bad as I'm making out. Um, I ran into one or two uh, little problems with the coding, but uh, managed to get those sorted with the help of the internet. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into a week in the life of a marine biology student. Um, I've got some really good footage that I'm hoping comes out okay in the final video. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and remember to subscribe so you don't miss a future video from me. I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.